previously on the black box. Oh, yes, I understand the economy's bad, Stacy. I understand that, but Steve hasn't even looked for a job. Oh, I doubt it's anything close to depression. I think Steve is incredibly lazy. Good evening. I have a proposition for you. One that I think you'd really want to hear. I've offered my services to many great couples like yourselves. By simply pressing the red button on the top of the box, your problems will be solved. Okay, that sounds nice. So what does happen if we push the red button? I will give you... $20! That's right, I will give you $20! Here's... Oh, 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 I ain't done yet! Hang on a second, hang on a second! Okay, here's the deal, here's the deal. As soon as you push the button, and then here's here's the whole here's the danger of pushing the button. And once you push the button, someone that you do and someone that you don't will die. Okay? So 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 what do you think, huh? So what do you think, huh? Do this. What the heck? You, wait a minute! I I, I gotta go. Yeah. Hey. More money. Woo! Oh great, if it isn't the dumbass that blew up Earth 129. It wasn't my fault! The woman kept hitting- I don't care. If you want to do your little song and dance in front of anyone, do it in front of the big boss man, because he's waiting in his office to see you ASAP. Yeah, I know how much it's going to cost. I want it restored to how it was before. Oh yeah, I know. I have them in my office right now. No, that's none of your concern. You get the architects together and you restore Earth 129 to the way it was before Bumblefuck got involved and you do it now! Okay? Goodbye! Okay, first off, before you start yelling, I just want to say you you really look great today. And, uh, and haven't I told you that I've always considered you as my hero? Shut up! Don't think that kissing my ass is gonna get you out of this, Agent 13. You destroyed an entire Earth. But it wasn't my fault! The woman got greedy. After I gave her the $20, what was I supposed to do? Uh, maybe take control of the situation and do what you're being paid to do? You screwed up worse than I've seen anybody ever screw up, and I've been here for centuries. And this wasn't your first screw up, not by far. I know, I know. This is my third strike. Try your ninth clown shoes and your costliest screw up. Do you know how much it costs to restore the earth you blew up? That shit comes out of our budget. My bonus is going to be absolute shit this year. I was going to put in a pool. But, but. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Now you listen and listen good. Our jobs are. Our very existence as a company depends on our ability to collect souls. That's why we do this whole black box thing in the first place. But we can only collect one soul at a time. You're destroying Earth 129 screwed all that up and lost us all of those potential souls. Now normally, that'd be a fireable offense. But luckily for you, your sisters, brothers, cousins, aunt, my wife, begged me not to fire you. So I'm gonna give you a second chance. But before you get all happy, I'm telling you this is your last chance. We have Steve and Becky Chase in our holding cell. And since you last made the offer of the black box to them, you have to finish the deal with them. And you better not screw up again. I, I won't, I won't, I promise. Yeah, your promises are worth about as much as dried shit in a dead bum's ass. But I want, Hey boss, sorry to interrupt, but I have the confirmations for Earth 137 souls for December. Whoa.
Well, hey, isn't it the schmuck that blew up Earth 129? It wasn't my fault! Yeah, right. What a dumbass you are. I'm not a dumbass. You're the dumbest ass in the history of dumbasses. Screw you, buddy. I'll knock your... Shut up! Both of you! God, you're giving me a migraine. <sighs> Agent 99, good work as always. You perform above and beyond the standards of what a dark man is supposed to exemplify. Agent 13, you do well to follow 99's example as he's always in the top three of our monthly soul collectors. You, on the other hand, are always in the bottom two. When you're not blowing up the earth you're working on. But, as I said before, I'm giving you one more chance to get Earth-129 back on track for Soul Collection. If you fail, I will not only fire you, but I will banish you to Earth-4. The one where everyone looks like a Vagoda. Now get the hell out of my office! You are way too forgiving of that ass clown. <sighs> what can I do? He's kind of sort of family. It's either that or go a whole month without oral sex. Ouch. Well, I guess I can see why you did it. But you know he's going to screw up again. Hello, Becky. It's been a while. Well, for me at least. Who's there? Remember me, Becky? Oh yeah. You're the dumbass that brought that box into my house. Yes. I mean, no. Yes. I'm the one that brought you the black box. But why does everybody keep calling me a dumbass? Maybe because you blew up the whole world? No, no, no. It's your fault, not mine. You're the one got greedy. You know what? Forget it. We can do this all day and point fingers on the actual person who blew up your earth. But that's not why I'm here. <laughs> My earth? What the hell are you talking about? We'll get back to that in a second. But first, do you recognize this voice? You selfish bitch. This is all your fault because you wanted some money and some guy with a 10 inch wang. Oh great, you had to bring him back. I brought everything back. Well, the people I work for are the ones that brought everything back. But, but I helped. And the reason I brought Steve back, we'll get back to that in a second. You brought me back to punish you, you greedy skank. You blowed up the world in the first place. Screw you, Steve. If you would have had a job, maybe I wouldn't have been so money hungry. Do you think I enjoy working at the Dillo factory for eight hours testing parts just to come home to see you sitting in front of the TV watching shitty horror movies and shoving cheesy poofs in your mouth? The best thing you've ever did for me was just drop dead. What a bitch you are. Asshole. Bitch. Asshole. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough for the both of you. You tramp. Loser. Skeezer. Asshole. Do it all over. Ooh, dickhead. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Jeez. You know, if I didn't have to complete this whole deal with you two, I would have left you two dead and just brought back the whole world along with everybody else. Oh my gosh. You two are the biggest pain in the asses I've ever met. Look who's talking. For being an all-knowing man of mystery, you got to be one of the biggest dumb asses I know. Yeah, for once, I agree with Steve. You should have known the dangers of me hitting the black box that many times. It's your fault the world blew up. <sighs> it wasn't my fault. And quit calling me dumbass. You know what? I graduated kindergarten and taught my class. I was nine at the time, but that's beside the point. I didn't bring you guys here to call each other names, and especially I didn't bring you guys to call me names. <sighs> Children love me, damn it. Then why did you bring us back here? If everything's the same as it was before, why didn't you just make it so you never showed up at our doorstep with your stupid box? <sighs> because some things can't be fixed like that. You see, I represent a company that deals with, um, collections of sort. We service all the Earths in a multiverse. Multiverse? There are infinite number of alternate universes, okay? But we just handle the Earths of that universe. And what we do is, 
erase overpopulation. That's why we do the whole deal with the black box. We give people money to help remove people from your planet. But we can only erase one person at a time. When Becky started going crazy hitting the button on the box, it caused a chain reaction that led to destruction of the Earth. It's all because you're a greedy bitch. What? Don't. The both of you are going to want to hear the rest of what I have to say. Both of you. Because it's going to greatly benefit one of you. What do you mean? I'll get back to that in a second. But first, I have to explain that because I've offered the services of the black box to the two of you. A deal that needed to be completed. You see, my employer spent a lot of time and energy in restoring your world. Energy that needs to be replaced. So I've decided, pardon the pun, to kill two birds with one stone. Oh great, here we go again. What are we gonna do now? Well, the two of you are gonna play a little game. One I like to call, press your luck. Oh, I love that show. No whammies, big bucks, no whammies. Oh, a whammy, oh, I love that show. You ditch, I don't think that's what he's talking about. Well, I kinda am. You see, I used to love that show. We're gonna be doing something a little similar but the rules are going to be different. Oh great, here we go again. Anyways, the two of you are going to take turns hitting the red button on the black box. As you remember, every time you push the button on the black box, someone that you may or someone that you may not know is going to die. But this time around, you're going to make some money. However, at some point, the black box is going to kill one of you. Now, Who's ever left standing will not just have all the money, but will be financially set for the rest of your life. I have no problem with that. I'm sure you don't. You weren't the one to drop dead last. How do I know I'm not going to wind up dying again? You don't. But I assure you, whichever of the two of you dies, it will be completely random. Think of it this way. You're playing Rush Roulette. There's a bullet hidden in the chamber of a gun. Neither you nor myself will know where the bullet's hidden. It will be a complete surprise to you as it is to me. Promise. Your promises don't mean crap, man. Come on, Steve. Grow a pair. I'm in. That's a surprise. You're going to have to find someone else to play your little games because I'm opting out. Oh, come on, Steve. Think about it. If she falls over dead, You'll be rich. And then you can hire all the beautiful women you want to feed you those cheese puffs in front of the TV with your hand down your pants for the rest of your life. That isn't much different than how he's living now. Well, except for the money and the slave girls. Personally, I'm gonna take my money and go to some tropical island and live like a queen. And then I'm gonna find me some native guys that are hung like porn stars and service me like Mr. Limp Dick over here never could. I'm in. Great! Then let's play... Press Your Luck! Alright, Becky. You get the first turn. Wait, why did she get the first turn? I've already said she already had her turn. <sighs> okay, okay, Steve. You get the first shot. Alright. Wait. How do we know by using this black box that ain't gonna cause the world to blow up like it did before? Oh, my employers fixed that. It won't happen again. Trust me. Whatever. <coughs> okay, so far so good. Becky, your turn. Bahamas, here I come. Not that lucky, are you, Beck? Now stand on my way, it's my turn to go. Uh, drunk in the afternoon is a bad idea. This is fucking gonna do in the out here. Hey, this cow. I'm gonna tip that cow. Woo! Woo! 
Guys, uh, guys, you should back up a little bit. Guys, no hey. way. I want the money. Yeah, right. I'm getting the money. <laughs> Guys, hey! No way! It's gonna be mine! Mine! Hey! Mine! I'm so getting fired for this. I just want to say that this time it wasn't Don't my fault. Don't even bother. The boss wants to see you now. Before you even think about opening your yap with a bunch of lame excuses, I want your black box. I take it I'm about to be fired, right? Wow, give the man a prize. Whatever gave you that idea, genius. Okay, but before you fire me, I like to say that I consider you as a hero of mine. Heck, you're the wind beneath my wings. What, are you Bette Midler all of a sudden or something? Why does he have to be in here for this? Why is that any of your concern? Agent 99 is here because eventually I plan on retiring from this thankless ass job and he's most likely going to be my replacement. And I decided to give him a proper look at how we terminate dumbasses that can't follow a simple task. Look, I know I lost total control of the situation again. Oh, you're damn skippy you lost control of the situation. It made us the laughing stock of the entire division. We're going to be making up lost soul energy for the rest of the year. But that's okay. Your replacements should make up for the losses you cause quite handily. My replacements? What? Steve and Becky Chase? You gotta be kidding me! Agents 48 and 77 have shown the proper attitude of what it takes to be a good employee for this company. So I decided to make them an offer that would financially benefit them both and allow them to live separate lives from each other. It's a win-win. You, on the other hand, are about to be the big loser because you're fired! Oh, come on. Give me one more chance. We're family. Well, I'll give you something, all right. Agents 48 and 77? Yes, yes sir. sir. I have your first assignments. Whoop his ass. Hey boss, can I get in on that? Why not? I've been waiting to do this for two years. Hey! Hey! Wait a minute! Look at all this! Oh, I'll do it for you guys! Ow.